Today, every home needs a water heater, but what is better is to use solar water heaters as much as we can, there are many types of solar water heaters, but in this video, a special type of solar water heater is introduced that you have never seen before, I leave it up to you to compare the performance of the above water heater with water heaters available in the market. Thank you for watching this video. Writing a comment will exchange information and increase the scientific level. Thank you for liking or subscribing the video, with respect, Ibrahim Hashemi. Hello to all my loved ones and those interested in clean energy. Welcome to the Fixed Focus Program. I am Ibrahim Hashemi and this is another The Fixed Focus Program. In this video, I want to talk about the introduction of a new generation of solar water heaters. This water heater works with the fixed focus system. So far, various solar water heaters have been made with different methods. In some of these water heaters, advanced methods have been used. But in the method of fixed focus system, the working method is simple and very efficient. In the figure, you can see the types of solar water heaters, the description of each one is time consuming and beyond the scope of this video. There are various solar water heaters in the market, some of which have high prices. The best thing to do is to use a solar water heater in addition to using a solar panel. Much simpler methods such as using black polyethylene pipes can also be used together with the pump. Which you see in the figure. But the method of using linear parabolic dishes can also heat water to boiling point which you can see in the figure. Solar water heaters available in the market have different types. A typical sample is direct circulation systems and another one that works with a pump. And another sample is thermosiphon systems. And another sample is the use of drain down systems pipe. Usually, in cold regions, the length of the day is short and the amount of heated water will not meet our needs. Therefore, we will need to use alternative energy. In this figure, you can see the average time of using hot water. Therefore, solar water heaters that are used in cold areas and in the winter season are not fully responsive. Suppose, this is a common water heater replica in the market. The reservoir is always at the top of the system. And these grooves are water heater collectors. And these grooves are solar water heater collectors. And the angle that the solar water heater should have depends on where it is used and where you live. In fact, this angle should be changed in different seasons in order to achieve maximum exploitation. These water heaters have two problems. First, these solar water heaters are stationary. Therefore, the movement of the sun that starts at sunrise and sets in the evening. It is perpendicular to the water heater plate only at a certain time. Therefore, the power of heating the water in the door is maximized when the sunlight is perpendicular to the water heater. Second, due to the structure of these water heaters, they can never heat the water enough in winter. Of course, some solar water heaters in tropical regions and in summer raise the water temperature to the boiling point. Now let's look at the new solar water heater system. In the fixed focus system, the moving dish is always perpendicular to the rays of sunlight. And fully automatic concentrate the heat in the focus. Now suppose this cylinder is a water heater tank. And we can put it in the subsystem. and pass the hot oil through a spiral tube placed in the tank. In fact, the hot oil is directed from the focus and by the oil pump into the spiral pipes of the water tank and heats the water. In this case, and with a suitable solar dish, the temperature of the water in the tank can be raised to the boiling point. 
Therefore, with this system, even in cold regions and in winter, the water in the tank can be raised to the boiling point. In addition, by using the right oil, there will be no freezing problem in this system. In this system, if we use very large solar dishes, we can provide hot water for an apartment complex. Also, using a suitable solar dish and when the sun shines, it can be used as an instant water heater without the need for a tank. Like many electric and gas wall-mounted instant water heaters without the need for a tank. In this case, either the water should pass directly through the focus or the water spiral pipe should pass through the hot oil tank. In this system, the size of the solar dish and the insulation of the tank and the insulation of the metal communication pipes and even the oil pump will be of particular importance in increasing the efficiency of the system. Well, let's go and start such a solar water heater in practice. Well, I have a 60 liter galvanized tank here. This tank is suitable for this system. Because the dimensions of the solar dish in this system are less than 1 meter and in fact this system was originally designed for a solar water heater. Before installing the tank, I need to insulate it with glass wool. This tank has two copper oil inlet and outlet pipes. And these two pipes are the beginning and end of a spiral copper pipe that is inside the tank. Which you can see two examples of in the figure. You can pass the pipes through the inlet and outlet holes before welding one end of the tank and give it special welding. In fact, the tank is placed like this. And these two copper pipes are the beginning and the end of the spiral pipe inside the tank. Or you can make a valve on one side of the tank and then pass the screw pipe and screw it to the tank with a rubber washer. For example, a cover like this. The outlet and inlet of water are located on this side of the tank. And the safety valve can be placed in the water inlet or it is better on the top of the tank. First of all, I need to insulate this tank. Of course, with glass wool and you can also use rock wool, of course glass wool is cheaper than rock wool. Well, I bring the gloves and put them on. A cautionary note is that if you are going to work with glass wool, be sure to use gloves and a mask. Because glass wool contains some glass powder and it causes severe itching of the hand. If you encounter such a problem, wash the desired area several times with a body brush and soap. Okay, let's go to insulate the tank. Now I insulated the tank with glass wool. But this insulation is vulnerable to rain and water should not penetrate into the glass wool. Therefore, the best thing is to put a suitable plastic cover around the glass wool insulation. Of course, you can use ready-made and double-walled tanks available in the market. Well, the place of this tank is here, and two iron flat bar are welded to the tank, which are screwed to the bases of the fixed focus system.
one screw up and one down. The water inlet is at the top and the hot water outlet is at the bottom. Now I open the end cap of the water inlet and outlet. I will place this water tap at the bottom of the tank. In fact, the water inlet and outlet must be connected to the home plumbing. The water in this tank is enough for taking a bath once. Let's go to close the pipes of oil. Now you can see that a tap is closed at the bottom of the tank. This is a close-up of the oil pipes and oil pump and I close these connections. I tighten these oil connections at the right time so that we don't have oil leaks. Now the sun has set and the work of testing the water heater is postponed to another day. And at the same time, we pour water into the tank and try it. The important thing is that we must be able to transfer the focus heat into the tank with the least loss. And for this, all the oil communication equipment and even the oil pump must be isolated. I will close the screws of the tank connection at another time. Well, let's go for a sunny day. Well, I have closed the screws for connecting the tank. And also I have tightened the connection related to the oil pipes. And I activated the oil pump, of course, it takes some time for the oil to heat up inside the pump. Now I have to put water in the tank. And I give it a chance to heat the water. I open the water tap. And I will put the water hose inside the top pipe of the tank to fill it. Of course, at this height that I have above the sea level, the boiling point of water is 90 degrees Celsius. It is easy to calculate this height and this is a method of calculating the height from the sea level. I will fill the tank with water and come back in 2 or 3 hours and measure the water temperature in the tank. It has been 3 hours now that the solar water heater has been working. That is, since I filled the water heater tank. And I filled the tank almost to this point and 60 liters is not complete. Almost 50 liters. Of course, I checked the water temperature before filming. The ambient temperature that this alcohol thermometer shows is approximately 27 degrees Celsius. Well, let's go and see how many degrees the temperature of the water in the tank is. I put a glass under the tap and let a constant amount of water come out and pour into the glass until the temperature is constant. Well, I have to take a close-up video so that the temperature value can be determined completely. I hope that the temperature shown on the thermometer is completely clear. As you can see, the temperature of the water in the tank is about 55 degrees Celsius. Of course, the solar dish is small and it takes more time for the tank water temperature to rise. Heat energy loss through oil pipes and oil pump is also an effective factor. This is the hot oil inlet pipe to the tank which is really hot. And this is the return oil pipe that has less heat. This tube is really hot. Well, you saw that the temperature of the water in the tank was almost 55 degrees Celsius. Of course, this temperature will be higher in other hours. Anyway, this amount of heat is enough for a bath because the ideal water temperature for a bath is 37 degrees Celsius. In this system, the real art is to be able to transfer the focus heat to the water tank with minimal energy loss. In addition, if we use a large solar dish, we can turn it into an instant water heater as long as there is sunlight. In this case, water can be directly passed through the focus. Or to pass the water spiral pipe through a small hot oil tank. I hope this video was useful for you. Goodbye until the next program.